I don't really know what to play today. Uh, I guess there's over here. There's that. Yeah, that. That could work. Ooh, how about you? Hmm. Mm, what's... This game in like six months, so I don't know what to do. <sighs> Hello and welcome to Doki Doki the Literature Club. I I know it's been six months. Mommy for those who stay with me from the beginning. Yeah, I know this is it was six months. Yeah, the game was sitting there. Never gonna install it because you know I didn't wanna have to repeat those beginning parts. Yeah, you can tell by the intro, I had a lot of fun re-going to it. Yeah, this game had kind of been sticking a thorn on my side, so... I guess we could say, let's go back into it. That, and also I've heard the song like 15 times yesterday, and I think it was a sign. Oh god, why am I doing this? What game? July... Oh, hmm. How long is that? That is four, five months, yeah. Who should I, oh, um, I don't know what happened last time, but let's get back into it. All right, I'm preparing myself, microphone ready. For my voice, all right, cool. We got camera, yeah, camera now, that's, mm, yeah. All right, let's get into the Doki Doki business. Who should I show my poem to next? Um. Natsuki or why not Monica? Hi! Oh boy, I forgot I did that. Hi, Megatron. Did I have a voice for her? I think I did. Have you ever thought about wait no no, no that's not the right voice? <laughs> no. Uh, have you ever thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well uh being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... Oh my god, this guy's a wimp. Wait, hey, 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 whatever. Um, I'll have to give it some thought. Alright, okay, no pressure. But, whatever you do... Oh, I remember her voice now. Oh yes, I remember the voice. But whatever you do, make sure you turn out... Make sure it turn out great. Alright. I would make... It would make me very happy to see. Ha 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 ha! Aha! Anyway, let's take a closer look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hand. Alright. Uh oh. It's pretty good. You've been spending some time with Natsuki, haven't you? You must like her writing style. Oh shit. What the. Damn it, old me, what did you write? Uh, yes. I, I think it's a neat way to tell a story. I was like, eagles fly, some of my pants are gone, something like that? I, I don't know. I, I don't, um, Natsuki's poems are pretty cute, but they're also meaningful. Oh, really? I didn't. I guess, yeah, yeah. I can see why you would be into this style. I guess that means you're not as much a fan of Yuri's problem, then. I wouldn't say that. Oh yeah, Yuri's the... I'm gonna cut myself. Uh, no. Oh god, I just uh, stepped the line. No, she's more... Death is something that happens in life. There you go. She's... Yeah, she's, she's the dark one. I kind of like everyone's poem. That's true, but I'm sure you like some of more others, right? Like Yuri used complex words and symbolism. I could say that. Or so you're aware expressing happiness or sadness in more of a direct way. You must have been... You must some. You must have some kind of preference, don't you? Ah, that's it. A contest or anything. I'm just 
curious, that's all. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you, alright? Uh, she just gave you a life lesson. Uh, alright. Oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> uh. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An older tale tells a love a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. Mm. <clears throat> all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. So? Sought? So? And here I am, a feather. Oh shit, there's more. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Days after I've searched, I've searched with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend of all remain, the last dim star glimmed, glimmering in the twilight sky. I can't read for shit today. Um, until one day, the wind ceased to blow. I fall, and I fall, and I fall even more, gentle as a feather. I drive a... <coughs> oh. I'm good. Mm, tacos. Uh, <laughs> as dry as a quill, expressionless. But as a hand ca oh, there's more, God damn it. But as a hand catches me between the thumb of a four forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. Have I have found every answer, all of which, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Okay, I like how I went dark, ominous voice for this one. Alright, how do I, um... Whoa, oh, game! You just decided to get big fat, huh? Big boy, okay. That's okay, I can fix that. I got magical pa- and I'm screwed. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Well, why is it weird on one side? Oh, oh. Okay, okay. This is called power of editing. Well, not really. I, I'm just... Listen, I'm doing my best here. How do I escape? Oh, shit. Um, I like your story, but I like to go back to the, I, I read it, thank you, god damn it, oh, okay, you know, I feel like learning and looking forward for answers are the short, are the sort of things that give life meaning, not to get too philosophical or anything, I have, I struggle with that word, but, it was kind of in my own mind, so that's what I wrote out. I see. Yeah, okay. You're like, this is not bad, you know? I never really put much into mine, you know? In a way, in a way, almost paradoxical. Because, why do you speak words? Uh, my brain hurt! Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, there's one thing I've noticed. It seems like everyone in this couple prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Okay. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everyone's was okay, wouldn't we really have nothing to write about, would we? Humans are two dimensional creatures. Uh are we gonna okay? I think you know that better than me. Than anyone. Oh. You mean one dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Ooh, hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry for the weird cut. I'm back. I was preparing substance. No, no. Alright. Ah, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, she's talking weird, right? Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Wait, what, what? Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid? 
it's not that good. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response from something you put so much into. Yeah, yeah. But if you find our if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because if instead of telling you what your writing is good, <coughs> sorry about that. Come on. Because your because your writing is kind of like a bastard. Because your oh, son of a bitch. because instead of telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad. All they want to focus more on everything that you went into and the things you can go on. Oh, okay, so it's more like, oh, is it good? I don't know, but I mean, you put a lot of effort into it. Like, oh, okay, I, I can see that. I can see that. It's okay. It's much more encouraging, encouraging, Ooh. encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. Okay. It's almost like having your own little adventure club, don't you think? What are you saying here? Oh, my microphone like a bitch today. I'm sorry, I'm not calling you. Hold on. What am I calling me a checker guy? I mean, it has the big hole and it sticks. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Get back to the topic. Oh, I'm getting shivers. That's my advice for today. Thanks for the advice. Thanks for listening. That's like one person. All right, who should I show my phone next? Sure, her. <laughs> Nasuki reads my poem. Mm, big words are hard for little people. She kept glancing at me, then back at the poem. But now she must have read it, it more than once. <laughs> Is it that bad? No, 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 it's it's not. It, it's, it's good. I, it's really good, okay? There, I, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? My palms are supposed to be impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Far from it, damn. Obviously, I think you're... I let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine. Give me a break. Well, okay. In that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you're... Uh, uh, that's good for you to like she's really something. <laughs> you, you, you... You're trying to impress me? Nancy seriously scans her eyes to over my phone one more time. Then the poem slips out of her hand and flutters on the floor. I, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> uh, shy people. Red face, that's secretly walks out of the room. Oh, Gas. Hey, Megatron. <laughs> hey, Megatron. Did you do something in Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? N no, no. I. Oh, I just told her that my voice got caught in my throat. <coughs> There's no way I could tell Monica I'm trying to impress not Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees a poem lying on the floor, so she picks it up. She skims over a second time. Ooh, second time. Ooh, if I did that, okay, so if I went her before, then it would change. Okay, cool. I'm not fading from her face. I see. At first, I just thought it was like her writing style. But you wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I I mean, uh, you know, trying to trying to get in there, but uh, not not really. In fact, didn't you like the poem a lot the other day too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Megatron? Cheating? <laughs> Mission failed, boys. Mission failed. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Never mind, I'll just keep- I'm just kidding. <laughs> I shit with you. I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. It, yeah, she's... Just, mm. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. There's just something that you- for you to think about. What are you- what, what are you- 
What are you saying here, buddy? Hmm. Missy. Hey! As he comes up and snatches the poem on Monica's hand. And the other rest I know is to re-enter the classroom. D did you read this, Monica? Of course I... I liked it. Uh... You should really stop reading things that are not for you, you know? You have a bad habit of doing that. Huh? I wish we'd look at each other for once, you know. No. But Megatron wrote this poem. And we're supposed to be share we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Uh oh uh, uh, Husky freezes. She apparently forgot the poem technically is for everyone to read. Ooh. Okay. Well, I think Megatron is done sharing the poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read it anyway. Damn. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. What? what? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Uh, never mind. Well, I guess Natsuki has... Well, I guess Natsuki has my poem now. Bitch. Um, <laughs> not that I really... Whoa! That means that, like, if you went with her first, she would have... Change the day, actually. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. I'm gonna do Texas voice. <coughs> I'll be your beat. Oh, wait, yeah, that's the sound. Right. <laughs> I'll be your beach. Wait, be beach. Like a beach. Like the balls. No, no not the. <laughs> Oceanside beach. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonders over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for both of us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach. Oh, you sound like you're saying bitch. Beach that, that your daydream. That you day that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes you heart tap. I feel like I'm some sort of Middle Eastern man insulting someone. Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in a sunbeam and hold your hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see your sh sh let me see you shine. Your shine. Let's have your memories in a footprint trail. Set your feet, set, set you free in a windy sail. I remember the reason you're wonderful when you press your lips to my. Oh. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that day, that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. Oh, in a way, though, I have just left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape. You'll learn to love yourself like Whoa. It, yeah? I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Okay, I can agree. Oh, stop it! Hiccups. Kinda hard to write about anything negative about the beach, right? I mean, tsunamis... Yeah... No, 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 okay. Well, Yuri takes it on a little bit more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, can you really see her doing that too? Make us write about a single topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with the same thing fancy? Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At least, uh, at the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three. Wait, isn't there four of us? Because one, two, three. <gasps> well, we're done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. It's just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something just a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated, you devi uh, deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C c catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. 
Why is the mood so weird today? Like, even Yuri's immune to it. Um, I... Uh, stagnating the air is coming, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Ooh. In your books, maybe. Look at the only thing different series in here. Ah. It seems that you're right. Ah. Uh. So Yuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off? Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to go pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well today. She went home early. Which, ah oh, man, that's kind of weird. I don't know. What's wrong with her? <sighs> Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you being all lovey-dovey. Uh, uh, no, uh, first of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Siri. She's my childhood friends with extra thick thighs. <laughs> And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything was fine. What did she say? Anyway, you need to figure out. <gasps> Pizza's ready! Alright, sorry about the cut. I just finished uh, pizza out of the oven. Good. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation. Oh, I'm all breath. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Master, I mean, um, playing video games. Yeah, because that's what I'm doing right now, right? Um, you already know what I'm doing. That's right. That's capable of making cupcakes. Ooh, but we might need a lot of them, a different flavor. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accept. <laughs> Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Siri will be helping me design them. As for you, Yuri. Yuri, you can... Um... Uh... Hmm? Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I... I'm, I'm useless. I, no! Ah, oh, goddammit. <laughs> That's not it at all. You're the most talented person to hear, you know. Hmm. No, not to keep pouting too. Damn it. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I'll never save Siri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder for you when she's not around. Wow. Ah, uh, that's maybe the case. But if you also would be a leader, oh, it smells delicious at home. I won't. I won't. Then I won't go around as a person. So Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners to decoration to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Your discussion suddenly change. Stares back at your desk, folks, and started nodding to yourself. Oh, I shaked everything. Your mind is already racing, I see. Your mind's already racing, I see. Yeah, there you go. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Megatron. The one who is surely useless. Ah ha 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 ha! Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have something pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way if you give them one of the hand. You could always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's Monica session spend weekend with one of my club. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to respond to such a like that. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind having a bit of help. Well, I don't know how it's fake. Oh, this dirty work. <gasps> no, I have to choose one of them? Not Monica going to give me a choice, but you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. I'm trying to turn mobile to a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that it would like to handle your baking on your own, right? Megatron may not like to be around if only makes him a nuisance. So therefore, maybe more suits assisting decoration? Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make some few decorations anyway? 
Sounds like more like you're making excuses for Megatron to Where is he? You'll be extremely meticulous work. If begging isn't, just what do you think you're Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. Listen, there's only one of me to go around. And I have both hands. <laughs> In the end I think it's up to Megatron to decide how he likes to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with Me yet. So, I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Megatron, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ooh, of, co of course. Mm. Very well. In that case, you want to look straight at me? Oh. Okay, 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 so we know that Monica is working with Siri, right? And she's working with that, but she's also working, and I actually like Yuri a lot. Like, she's finding her cool character. But I feel like Siori, I don't know, I feel like Siori is like, something's going on with Siori, so I'm gonna go with Siori. Because I feel like something's wrong with her. I mean, if it's going to be everyone, I prefer helping Siori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said, because was helping her. Oh shit. Jeez, you really hate us that. No, I don't hate you. No, no, that's not, I didn't mean this. God damn it. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, Toots, but I can't help you. <sighs> Yuri, it is. Well, I'll probably be most people helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? I'm sorry! Why would you. Atsuki. I can't really tell you about to say something mean. No, no, I'm just saying. Wait, the weekend is two days, so why don't you spend Saturday there with her and then Sunday with her, you know? Developing Yuri then, Megatron. Y yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bit of overthinking these sort of. See, I'm, I'm gonna help Fumbles out first, you know, before I help. Wait, she's Fumbles. God damn it. Eh, that's fine. You think your assistance will be very useful? That's a great to hear. That's good you will be able to handle baking yourself. I mean, yeah. I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell Natsuki's feeling a bit sour. Puss. Um, sorry, I'd say sour puss. So is that everything we need to go? Yep, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Oh. Do you feel the same way, Megatron? I don't know. And me? I guess you could say, yeah, sure. That's good enough for me. How about you, Natsuki? Damn it. <laughs> Natsuki! What? Oh, why is everyone yelling at me? You didn't even do anything. I don't know. That's not what I meant at all. Uh, oh. I'm sorry for, for this. I don't really know why Megatron picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I ever had really go well with my tea. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, it's intense right now. I get it, I get it. Kind of surprised, though. I feel bad now! Um, well, I'm the one acting immature, I don't know that. They're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. That's mm. isn't no one surprised. It's gonna be a long episode, goddamn. Monica said it also taken back. You write your words when she already has trouble with words trying to cheer someone up before I'll for comfort zone. About the beginning, I understand Yuri was trying to sound like Siri. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Siri wouldn't want. Siri would say at a time like this. Because Siri helped everyone smile and feel good about themselves. Oh, that's nice. No, I kinda appreciate it. I'm sorry for making big deal of nothing, but I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better be, you better, you better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. Yeah. Hope you see everyone do their best. Uh, I would have just said like, oh, why don't we just go to like one house and do it all together? You know? Cause I'm like kind of like the middleman. I, I, I can share my resources. Okay, that, that could take it the wrong way, damn it. Um, there's nothing more for today.
so I guess time for us to head out. Alright, let's head out then. Everyone packed up their things. I started to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, what's going on here? Well, we'll find out next time in the next episode of... The only episode, chapter, part... Ah, uh, next time. If you like the video, so like, subscribe, and um... Yeah, I'll see you guys next time in Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh boy, it's about to be feisty. Wait a minute. That whole poem was about... <gasps> she wanted me?